What's up, y'all? I say it. What's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This is your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before we get going on our video, smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Share the video. Turn on your notifications. And go follow us on Twitter at KO Boxing 86 TV. If you got a breakdown or a prediction you want me to do, Knockout Boxing 86 at Yahoo.com is the email address. And don't forget about our live shows. I'm live every Wednesday and Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Live every Sunday morning with the Singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. But let's get it popping. Let's get into our video. And today, Javante Davis and Devin Haney had a little, little, little Twitter, little Twitter altercation a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And... I ain't mad at neither one of them. Well, I'm kind of mad at Tank. We're going to get to it in this video. So this is what happened, right? Eastside Pitbull Cruz has a fight coming up this weekend against Eduardo Ramirez. We're going to be doing a breakdown and prediction for that, right? But they asked him about who he want to fight next. He said, I want to fight Tank Davis. I, I want to get that rematch um, because I want to bring a world championship to Mexico. Now, we all know that... In fighting Tank Davis, you'll get a world championship. It's a secondary belt. It's the WBA regular belt. We all know that Devin Haney is the undisputed champion. So Devin Haney either read the, the article that I read or he heard the Eastside Pitbull Cruise interview, whichever one. But he posted the article in his tweet and he quoted the tweet and then he put up there, what the, is he talking about? Like Devin Haney took offense to the fact that Eastside Pitbull Cruise felt like by fighting Tank Davis, he'd be bringing the world championship to Mexico City. From Devin Haney's perspective and from my perspective, too, there is no other legitimate champion at 135 pounds. You can fight Tank for a regular belt. That's cool. But don't be saying you're bringing a, a, a championship belt to Mexico City. And that was Devin Haney's sentiment. Like, what the he talking about? Tank Davis quoted his tweet. He quoted his tweet. And he said, he know who is who, and you do too. Basically telling Devin, hey, man, you got the belts. That's cool. But you know who the man is, and he do too. That's why he won't fight me and not you. So who's right, who's wrong? Because see, Tank Davis fans be like, yeah, everybody want to fight Tank because Tank is that guy. Everybody want to fight Tank because Tank is the man. And they want to be the man, so they're trying to beat the man. Devin Haney fans will tell you, ah, they want to fight Tank because they feel like Devin is a tougher fight. They want to fight Tank because they feel like Devin, they can't beat Devin, but they feel like they can beat Tank, though. So who's right? Who's wrong? I mean, we don't know. It's everybody's opinion. We won't know until they get in the ring. But I liked it. I liked it up until a point, and I'm going to tell you what that point was. I liked it. Because Devin Haney standing firm on his square, as he should. He is the undisputed champion at the lightweight division. So if you're talking about anybody else fighting him at 135, and if that's going to make you a champion, he should take exception to it. I'm for that. I ain't got no issue with that. And I ain't got no issue with Tank Davis being like, what you talking about? What he talking about, bro? You know what he talking about. He know who who is. He know who that guy is. And you know who that guy is, too. Love that energy, bro. Love that energy, no problem, no issue from either fighter. As fans, we can side with this person, side with that person, but you will never, nor have you ever heard me say whether I support a fighter, whether I'm critical of a fighter, whether I'm a fan of a fighter, whatever. I respect all fighters, and I ain't, I'm never above no little trash talk. Your boy knockout petty as shit, like, if a fighter's talking noise and talking this shit, I ain't never going to be like, man, why you say that? Even if he talking about one of my favorites. Even if somebody going in on Virgil Ortiz or Jesse Bam Rodriguez or Tank Davis or Jamal Charlo or, or um, Jamel Charlo or any fighter that I like, I ain't going to get mad at the fighter for doing that. Matter of fact, I'm a, I, want, I want them to talk shit. Hell, half of them I talk shit about. We got a Jamal Charlo video dropping in a minute. You ain't going to be able to tell I'm a fan of his, bro. Because we keep it a buck all the way around, bro, no matter who it is. So I say that to say, I liked it up until a certain point. I was like, yeah, that's a good back and forth. That's going to be good. 
But then Tank Davis did, as he has done so many times, he deleted the goddamn tweet. He deleted the tweet. And y'all know me, bro. I am not a fan of the old tweet and delete. Either say it, either don't say it, but if you say it, stand on it, bro. And we just had this, like, what a month. When, when was Adrian Brown supposed to fight? When Adrian Brown supposed to fight, like, two weeks ago? Was that two weeks ago or three weeks ago? Anyway, it was recently. It was less than a month ago. Tank Davis jumped off the porch, tweeted something, and deleted it about Adrian Brown and mental health issues, tried to cover it up, act like he was talking about Ryan Garcia. Go check the content out, man. We document everything on this channel, bro. And now he has his little back and forth with Devin Haney, and then you delete that. Now, this is why I don't like it. Number one, just me as a man, if I get something right, if I get something wrong, maybe I had a good argument, maybe I had a bad argument. You ain't going to see me deleting shit that, that, you know what I'm saying, that I make none of my content. If we get a take wrong, we just get it wrong. And we we say we was wrong, and then we move on. If we pop our shit in the little in, in, in the video, we just popped our shit in the video. We pop our shit on a live stream, and somebody don't like it, that's on them. I don't care. I'ma speak my mind regardless of who it is, bro. That's just me. So I can't respect, and I don't like the tweet and delete shit, man. Like, and so if you Tank Davis, when you do shit like this, and this is what I want to get him and his diehard fans to understand, because I am a Javante Tank Davis fan too. Any of the bros that mess with me. Anybody that talk box with me, they would tell you, yeah, knockout rock with Tank, but knockout also going to keep it real. And while we can't co-sign the tweet and delete shit, man, we can't, we, while we can't co-sign that is a very simple reason. It leaves you open to a lot of criticism, and it makes people, if people want to make the argument that you didn't mean what you said, if people want to make that argument that you didn't mean what you said, that you couldn't, you know what I'm saying? That you wasn't man enough to, to, to stand on your word, I can't argue for you. Cause I can't think for a tank. Because it could be that man, look, man, I'm, I just gave Devin Haney some clout. I don't want to give him no clout. That's what he want. Trying to attach himself to my name when he got a fight coming up. So I'm deleting this shit. I don't want, I ain't giving him no attention. Well, then you shouldn't have tweeted it in the first place. But once you tweeted it, you got to stand on it. Cause now you opening yourself up. If you ain't going to respond, you got to either be the person that don't respond, right? Or when you do respond, you gotta stand on that shit, bro. You gotta, you gotta just stand firm on it. So it could be like, damn, I'm giving them clout. Let me delete that shit. But ain't no one trying to hear that, bro. That's a weak argument because now we gotta get in your mind, wonder what you was thinking, wonder how you felt about this, and oh, this, and make arguments for you that you didn't even say. All we can go off your actions, and the actions was Devin Haney jumped off the porch, said some shit. You jumped off the porch, said some shit. You deleted the shit that you said. He did not delete the shit that he said, so you look weak. It's that simple, bro. It's that simple. I don't know who doing his PR. I don't know if he got a PR guy. I don't know if it's Leonard Ellaby or Al Heyman or somebody calling him behind the scenes, telling him to delete shit if he's doing it on his own volition, but... Bruh, I'm telling you right now, as you become a bigger name, this is going to be a problem because people are screenshotting shit. People are watching everything that you do and everything that you say. So it would behoove Tank Davis. It would be in his best interest, bruh, to either A, let somebody else that is more qualified handle your social media accounts, take one of them chains, Take one of them Lamborghinis, you know what I'm saying? Take that mug off, sell it if you have to, and hire somebody to do that shit for you. Or if you ain't got to sell nothing because you got money, you got bread, no disrespect, you balling, hire somebody, bro. Because the PR shit, man, you got to you gotta tighten that shit up. Outside the ring, by all accounts, you fix your discipline the last few counts. You staying in shape. You taking your career serious. You realizing how special you can be as a fighter. Great job, Tank. We can't criticize that shit. But what we can criticize is this continual tweeting and deleting shit, man. If you know you're going to fly off the handles, 
if you know you're going to say some shit that you got to take back, then, bro, find somebody that can that can, that can can screen your shit, that can monitor your shit for you. You got enough money for that. The shit don't cost much, man. You make more than enough money to take care of that, bro, because it look weak. It really do. There's no way around it. That shit look weak, bro. It look very good. It's good for content. It's good for you to let people know that you believe you the man. And that these other fighters know you the man. Now, I don't see nothing wrong with what Devin Haney did. I don't see nothing wrong with what you did by responding to him since he basically was like, I, I don't see nothing wrong with that. Up until the point you didn't stand on the shit you said, bro. And I already know what the play is. I, I, I think I know why, but if somebody tell me it's because you scared, if somebody tell me it's because you didn't really want to smoke with Devin Haney, I'm not going to argue with them because I'm not in your mind. I can believe, and it can be my opinion all day, that you did the shit because you don't want to give him clout because you feel like he was just chasing clout off of your name by bringing you up and stirring up shit. That could be the reason, but ain't nobody trying to hear that because if that's the case, you shouldn't have responded in the first place. Once you responded, the cat is out the bag. You got to stand on that shit, bro. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think of this little back and forth, man. And y'all let me know what y'all think of Tank Davis deleting the tweet. In my comment section, comment down below, smash the like, subscribe to the channel, share the video, turn on your notifications, and don't forget about our live shows Wednesdays and Thursday nights at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Also, Sunday mornings with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network, Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. I appreciate y'all watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we up out of here. Peace out, y'all.